I'm just gonna put this out there. I'm gonna say it. There's been so many times in this house where I have seen somebody that's not there. And I don't feel like it's a haunted house. I just feel like I can feel a presence. <laughs> <laughs> Whether you believe it or not, I think that people's spirits can, I don't know, stay behind. And there can be ghosts. And, oh my goodness, in this house, and it's always in this spot right over here, I always, out of the corner of my eye, see something. So whether it's me just being crazy or what, but right in this spot, right here, I'm being dead serious too. I see, I've seen a little, it's always a little boy. And it's none of my kids. It's always when my kids are not there, hunched over in this spot. And I know right now there's like crates there and a shelf there, but normally it's just empty. And that's when I see it all the time. But the problem is, it's gotten more and more often. I'm like, this is really weird. I almost see stuff. It's not It's not that I'm seeing what's there. I'm seeing movement out of the corner of my eye. And then I always look and there's nothing there. <sighs> is our house haunted? But anyways, all the kids are in bed. I always need time at the end of the day to just like do whatever I want and calm down. Um, also, I don't feel threatened or scared at all by whatever the feeling is at the bottom of the stairs. Whatever that glimpse is that I keep seeing over and over again. Um, but I am very curious, because this is an old house. I'm curious if anything happened in that spot, maybe? I have no idea. Um, but <laughs> it's perfect timing for Halloween right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's really weird. But anyways, uh, good night, and I'll see you guys later. I think I already said that, but all the kids finally are in bed, and I'm getting ready to go to bed now. And I was like, maybe I should tell them about that. It's just so weird, and it happens all the time, like at least once a day. But I had to tell you it because tonight it's happened three or four times. And normally it doesn't happen that much. That's when like, maybe you should just go over. Nope, nothing, just crates. But it's always right here. Right here, or a little bit closer where these crates are. Uh, I am talking about something that really has happened. I'm not kidding at all. But it is, like, I don't know. It's real to me. It's happened over and over again, so I'm not, unless I'm crazy. But it's always in this one spot. It's never in a different spot. And I don't see any trickery with light or anything like it's always nothing's moving and I just see movement like nothing's there lights are all the same and I just see movement out of the corner of my eye so I don't know I don't know it's just weird I super want to know the history of like if anything happened there maybe a kid fell off the stairs or something I don't know oh my goodness I just watched that video, the whole thing, at 3.37. 3.37, I saw the same type of thing I kept seeing. Did you not, okay, go, let's rewind it. Go back to 3.37. happened over and over again so I'm not there's literally a shadow behind me which is impossible because you don't see a shadow in front of my face there was no shadow in front of my face and none of the kids were in the room with me everybody was asleep and the other part that's crazy to me I'm gonna have Michael watch this oh my goodness 
the other part that's crazy to me is that the way that the light was, there was a light that was up high. Even if somebody was in front of me trying to make a shadow go behind my head, that's not possible. That's crazy. I have to get Michael right now. Michael, come here. What's up? Okay, watch this. It's real to me. It's happened over and over again. So I'm not, unless I'm crazy, but it's always in this yeah. one Do you see that shadow? Yeah. Nobody else was in the room with me. Wait, you sure I didn't walk by? No. Nobody was with me in the room. Everyone was asleep. It's real to me. It's happened over and over again. So I'm not, unless I'm crazy, <gasps> but it's always in this one spot. Whoa. <laughs> it's the exact spot. I have seen it in over and over again. That shadow is real. That's real. If it had happened in front of you, that- You would have seen it on my face. The shadow would have been on my face. Not necessarily, because the shadow was to the side of you. It would have happened But my, But I was turning my head enough. No, the light was coming from this direction. So, when you were filming, what time of the day was this? Midnight. So was I in the room? Or no, was you else? were gone when this happened four times. Okay, so then it definitely wasn't a person in front of you. No. This is freaking <laughs> us out. Literally everybody is like, what? How, how did that happen? I think we caught a ghost on camera. <gasps> oh my goodness. So now I'm going to respond to telling my siblings I'm pregnant. Mary McDonald said, never stop being true to yourself. It's what makes you and such a fun, unique, exciting, yet ever-changing you, you are. <laughs> yeah, very appropriately, you may give birth on mischief night. <laughs> what is mischief night? I don't know what that is. Oh, is that right before Halloween? I think I've heard of that before. Let me look that up really quick. I'm really curious if that's what I think it is. Okay, Mischief Night is an informal holiday on which children, teenagers, and adults engage in jokes, pranks, vandalism, and or parties. It is known by a variety of night names, including Devil's Night, Gates Night, Goosey Night, Movie Night, Moving Night, Cabbage Night, and Mat Night. I don't know why. 30th of October, the day before October. Don't Please don't make me wait that long to have the baby. I know I'm already, I'm going to be like, please, I don't want to be pregnant anymore. <laughs> but that would be really funny. Don't curse me, please. I don't want to have a baby on mischief at night. That will be way too long being pregnant. <laughs> this is going to be crazy because if I did, their birthday would be like two days away from Ellie's birthday because she was, she was... I was going into labor a little bit on Halloween, and then I had her the very next day, so oh, I hope I don't go that long. Whew, that makes me feel, uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> Salmia uh, Viswanda Duni, something like that. Congratulations, Becca, for the new baby. Thank you. Oh, Areno ACF, you are really close. Congratulations, I'm due on Halloween, she says. Oh my goodness. I think I'm actually, my official due date, I think is Halloween. But I never go as long as my full, full term. So I really highly doubt that it would be Halloween, but I don't know, I don't want it to be Halloween. <sighs> I still think that comment about Mischief Night is so funny. I don't want to have them on Mischief Night, but considering how I announced it, it's Quite mischievous. <laughs> what if the baby's a mischief maker like me? Pippi Long says, such healthy humor. Thank you. I agree. I was, I couldn't sleep the night before though because I was so worried that somebody was going to be so offended. But nobody was offended. So I was really happy about that. Alice Hurley, that is one of the best April Fool's Day pranks ever. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. I had so much fun. <laughs> uh, Vanilla Cupcake says, I haven't watched this family in years. Oh my, they, have they all grown up? Becca, I swear, it doesn't age. Been a subscriber over six years. How crazy. Do I not age? I am definitely bigger than I was before, but that's okay. Good job, you brought babies into the world. You've been working really hard. You've been struggling with stuff. And now you're still here. Doing this is my theme song to me. <laughs> uh, 
Sandra Brand says, congrats on your best April Fools. And of course, with your new baby. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Wayne Smith says, ha ha, you got a serious naughty streak, Becca. You know, I blame this whole pregnancy thing on you going on that vacation. No more restful vacations for you, child. Am I wrong? What vacation? Oh, no, it wasn't that vacation. That was like a year ago. <laughs> I love the fact that Amanda, I think, knows you so well that she can see through your deceptions. <laughs> I know, right? I, it was so fun listening to her thought process and as she was slowly thinking through it, but it can't be, but it could because of this. And I don't think she would actually tell that joke that's like a forbidden joke. <laughs> it was like, I just loved hearing her thought process. And she had me pinned. She knew exactly what I was thinking and what my intentions were. And it was so great. <laughs> Nellie Gonzalez Ruiz says, congratulations. Hi. <laughs> Stephanie says, congrats. Best prank. Thank you. I agree. I ate a uh, gold thing. You did? In, in my mouth. You did? Yeah. Nana Muir says, is she having a baby or is it a prank? I'm so confused. If she is having a baby, can someone please tell me if she is having a baby or not? <laughs> yes, I'm having a baby. This is April after April Fools. For sure I am pregnant. I've been very sick. I'm in a good mood right now, but typically I uh, have been struggling a lot. And actually the past four days I've felt better than I have ever since I started throwing up and stuff. <laughs> Love you. See? Who would want this kid to not be in our family? We want you in our family. We love you. You, you are making our family so happy. Every single one of the kids needs to be in our family that we have. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it worked, Nanam. You were, I got yeah. you. You got confused. That's basically all I was hoping for was that I would really confuse people. <laughs> Jamming Mike says, awesome video. <laughs> Melissa Ehlers says, are you really pregnant or was it an April Fool's joke? <laughs> I love how confused people are. I really am pregnant. That's why it was funny. I can't go back. I can't go here. I can't go here. Uh, can't the go Genshin here. Impact sibling says best prank. And somebody said it is not a prank. That's right. I'm so confused. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Are you okay? Yeah. He just fell over a bench. Okay. He's okay though. So yes, I am pregnant. Yes, it was so fun to make that. <laughs> to tell them that I was pregnant and actually be pregnant on April Fool's. That's so great. So anyways, thank you for responding. Thank you for getting confused and satisfying me even more because that is exactly what I was hoping for. But yes, I really am pregnant. This is the first pregnancy I haven't kept track every single day of how far along I am. I think I might be. Close to 12 weeks, like tomorrow. Okay, yeah, so 12 weeks tomorrow. That's pretty great. Oh, that's good. I'm going to keep eating healthy so that I'm not sick because it's hard to not be sick. Okay, thank you guys for watching. We will see you guys next time. Bye.